Teachers are on strike, but what does that mean for childcare? Hello, I'm Dominic Walker. Welcome to JMW's Inside Man YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and keep the conversation going in the comments section as well. So Tom Kappa is a solicitor within JMW's Employment Law Department. So Tom, just leaving aside any dispute that the teachers may have for a, for a while, uh, and just talking purely about childcare, it'll be a difficult time with kids not going into school. Uh, and presumably parents may have childcare problems as a result. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's always the the way with strikes. They, they can be disruptive. Um, in this case, it's the teachers. So you've either got individual classes closing or perhaps a whole school. The disruption here is that kids aren't in school and um, parents need to arrange their own childcare. And I'm a, a parent. Could I simply just say... Look, I'm not coming into work today because uh, because my uh, my kids are not in school. I'm not sure it would be the best approach to take. There's no sort of set entitlement just to do that, um, and you probably get in, in a little bit of bother. That said, there are ways to go around this um, and and arrange childcare. There's there's some obvious ones such as annual leave. If um, if you've got days to take, you can simply put a request in and your employer may, may approve it. There might be some notification requirements in the contracts of employment so it, or in your individual handbooks, but um, that's an option. Problem there is it's employer discretion, obviously, so there's still a chance that it doesn't, doesn't materialise and you, you don't get covered. If that doesn't work out, perhaps agreed unpaid leave, that's an option. Just an ongoing dialogue with your employer, um, what the problem is, obviously childcare, why you can't make it to work. And... Aside from both of those, people nowadays, it's very common for them to be on a flexible working arrangement, whether it's part-time working, whether it's condensed hours, or perhaps there's some wiggle room in, in, in there that, that they could speak to their employer about, maybe change their hours for the day, swap a non-working day. So although I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't recommend just saying you can't come in because of childcare, there's a few potential options there that, that, that could be suitable. And then beyond that, there's there's a couple of statutory provisions. There's there's dependent leave and there's parental leave. So if we start on dependent leave, that's typically in situations where there's an unforeseen emergency. I'm not too sure that that would be the case here because it is foreseen. There was notice of these strikes and you could have been able to put some arrangements in place before that. That said, if you, if, if you're, you had um, child care lined up, and that's fallen away at the last minute. You could potentially take the day off on, on, on dependent leave. But again, it's a matter of speaking to your employer about that, making them aware of, of, of why, what the situation is, why you're taking the dependent leave. And then quickly on parental leave, that is an option as well. Needs a little bit of planning because you, you're supposed to give 21 days notice. Downside to that is you need 12 months plus no, uh, service, and you typically take it in blocks of one or two weeks. So it's not for your ad hoc day um, there. But there are options to take the day off if you need it. And so we at JMW Solicitors advise lots of employers all of the time. How can you and the employment team here at JMW Solicitors help employers who are grappling with these problems and probably want to be fair to employees as well? Yeah, of course. It's a balancing act, really, because I'm sure every every company has its staffing requirements minimum levels different work on at different times so we we can help with um immediate ones or maybe ad hoc queries that come in ones you're not too sure about employees potentially just being AWOL because of childcare and although it needs looking at in individual circumstances um it is something that that needs to be addressed we can look at how the, how your policies are drafted and and how that impacts any leave that um, employees can take and then attached sort of to the policies if you like is what the contractual provisions are how that affects the employees and how that reflects uh, Im impacts the company as well tom thank you for your insight and if you'd like to speak to tom and the employment law team here at jmw solicitors you can email insideman at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81 999. Please also subscribe to the JMW Inside Man YouTube channel for the latest legal news, hints and tips. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.